Now to bombshell allegations against a prison warden in Wisconsin and eight workers. They're facing criminal charges in connection with two deaths at Wapan Correctional, which is a maximum security prison in Dodge County. Prison warden Randall Hepp is among those charged. Investigative reporter James Stratton has been reporting on the deaths at Wapan for months and now criminal charges. Tonight, charges in a sweeping investigation involving deaths at Wapons Prison. Warden Randall Hepp and eight others charged with felonies in the death of two of four inmates who died in the last year. The first, 24-year-old Cameron Williams, died of a stroke in late October. The investigation shows he was stumbling, disoriented, and told staff three days earlier he needed to go to the hospital. It was determined that the decedent passed away following this time period and likely was in dire medical distress when the incoming nurse determined that there was no medical need to make entry. 62-year-old Donald Meyer died of dehydration and malnutrition in February. Sheriff Schmidt says staff failed to give him nine meals in four days and shut off water to his cell. Security staff notified nursing staff that the decedent had not eaten food for a couple of days, was drinking sewage water, and played in the toilet. While Sheriff Schmidt was releasing his findings in the investigation at the sheriff's office, all nine prison workers were seeing their first appearance in Dodge County Court. One of them, Nurse Gwendolyn Vick, charged with abuse in 24-year-old William's death. Believe me, the last thing in the world she wanted was for this young man to suffer. And if she had thought that there was anything she could have done to avoid it, she would have done it. On top of Nurse Vick, also charged Nurse Jessica Hosfeld and correctional officers Brandon Fisher, Tanner Leopold, Jamal Russell, Alexander Hallfelder, Jessica Hosfeld, Sarah Ransbottom, Jeremy Chalker, and Warden Randall Hepp. This investigation on top of another internal and federal investigation into drug and cell phone smuggling inside the prison. That is completely separate of these charges relating to deaths inside. In Dodge County, James Stratton, WISN 12 News. Sheriff Schmidt called for reform for both Wapon and Green Bay Correctional Centers. That includes either renovating them or tearing them down to build new. He also called for better inspections, training of staff, and accountability if something goes wrong.